First at 11, weapons seized following a police standoff in one local town. Tonight, a man is in custody accused of threatening to kill his own mother. We first told you about this story as it was breaking on Eyewitness News at 6. Police say this man, 44-year-old Brian Meller, pointed a gun at her head. And tonight, we're learning more about the suspect. It is our top local story tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Mobilia joins us now live outside North Smithfield Police with Reaction. Mike and Susan, a quiet neighborhood here in North Smithfield had to be evacuated after police say a man held a gun to his mother's head and threatened to kill her. This man, 44-year-old Brian Meller, is now in police custody after he allegedly threatened to shoot his elderly mother at their North Smithfield home Wednesday. We have a domestic, serious domestic issue here where, you know, an individual pointed a gun not only to his mother but a 71-year-old woman. Uh, and threaten the killer. Meller's mother was able to escape and call for help. Moments later, police surrounded Meller's home and began blocking nearby roads. Charles Milano lives across the street from the Mellers. He says a detective knocked on his door around 1030 and said he and his family had to evacuate. They couldn't tell us anything at that time. So what was going through your mind? Everything. Everything from the, the old landfill in the back to the military bases to everything. You had no idea. Following a four-hour standoff, Meller finally surrendered. Upon the uh, search of the residence, uh, a number of weapons uh, were seized, um, including the weapon that was pointed at Mrs. Meller. And Eyewitness News has learned yeah. this isn't the so first run-in Meller has had with the law. Yes, approximately a year and a half ago, uh, subsequent to an arrest, uh, our department seized over 20 yeah. weapons from him uh, at that time. <clears throat> Meller is currently being held at the ACI and is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow on domestic assault and weapons charges. Reporting live with the Mobile Newsroom, Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.